So hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing something that we have never did before. In other videos, we have been doing marker and I think mainly markers. And this time we're going to do something different. We're going to actually be doing painting. You can use any paints you want, watercolors, acrylic, uh, I don't prefer oil for this one, you, or poster paints whichever you prefer uh this today's video we're going to do a banana ice cream so if you don't know it's a banana at the bottom and ice cream on the top i'm going to be doing the drawing with the peel on you can do it with the peel off if you want but i'm doing it with the peel on so it looks more like a banana and it and you can add various things to the peel so i already did the banana at the bottom i did not want to do it on camera otherwise i'd have to keep erasing and everything so i'm going to chase over with the darker pencil uh this way you can also see how i drew the banana so i started with the a u a, a u shaped curve and then i made a a straight line connected to the u shape made a line like that made a line over here so it's like two straight lines and then another curve but i did not want to be exactly curvy because it won't follow how a banana should look like see as you can see here i'm not going to erase this it adds extra visual effects okay now we're going to draw the ice cream on top and i really liked how the draw uh the painting turned out it looked really good so just a circle there circle there and not a circle on top, but you could say it's a sort of a circle or oval. So now the sketch is done. It may look like a really easy sketch, but it's actually lots of painting. So I have a palette. I actually got this yesterday. Tons of paintbrushes. The only be using really one or two poster paints i'm using poster paints next video i'll probably do a tug of, jug of water sorry and if you want you can have a tissue and i have that right next to me okay let's get painting so now I'm going to be using a brush that is just like this. You can use a canvas to do this. You can, I really, really prefer watercolor paper. I just couldn't find it around my house, so I'm using regular paper. And the thing is, if you're using regular A4 paper, you have to be really careful because the thing is, when you're painting, sometimes when you're painting, the paper kind of rips off so you have to be really careful so we're going to start by making banana yellow when i made this it turned very nice start by taking out a little bit of yellow and then not even a dot of green like really really less so i'm putting it in one opening the green look Look at that. Wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Now mix it. If you want, you can add some yellow. Okay. Banana yellow is ready. Next, we're going to make the next color that is our green for a banana now it's not gonna be you know the regular vivid green or yeah lemon uh lemon uh sorry yellow green it's going to be let's say you know the olive army green 
do that sort of color. So take green. Not lots, because we're not going to be using lots. Now take black. Now, a little bit more than what we took for the green. Let's see. If you can see. Now just mix them together. And you may need some more black. I need just a little more black. Um, just a little more, sorry. And last one. And that's fine. Oh, no. Maybe just a little bit of banana yellow you can take. And mix it. Yes, this is the color you want. If you already have this color, great. You don't need to make it. It's almost like pine green, which I have in acrylics, but not poster paint. It's always good. You can do mixed media, but I'm not going to do mixed media this time. Maybe a little bit later we can do mixed media. So then now we will need brown. Brown you can mix with a little bit of red. Or you can just take brown. And I'm just taking brown. And you don't even need it. So I'm going to share the same palette with the yellow. Because for this, it's going to be really colorful. And we need quite a lot. Okay, now let's get to paint. Starting with the brown, see this area? Color the top brown. Blend it in with some of the banana green. If you want, take some more brown. And take some more banana green. Blend them together. Okay. Once they are properly blended, I may need just a little bit more brown. Yeah, great. Okay, now I can say. Once they are properly blended, just put some brown over here. And then take more brown and put some at this corner there. Or you can just make darker brown. I would not prefer that because you don't even need a dot of it. Now take banana yellow and slowly just color the whole thing yellow, blending it with the banana green. Now, actually, I got these poster paints by my art teacher. Well, I did not get them by her, but uh, we, she needed them for our art class. So now I'm just blending it together. And I will see you once it's Now I have done. finished doing the banana yellow. And it's starting to look like a banana. Now we're going to add the details inside the yellow part. This video is for beginners as well as medium level. So now take some green, just a little bit. Go anywhere in the banana you like. Pick a spot. Don't make it like this. We don't want that. It needs to blend nicely with its surroundings. Just like that. And you can do, I guess, one green spot. This is not a banana that is nearly uh, rotten. It's a fresh banana that has almost come out. So how some bananas, they get hurt, they fall from the ground, and they cause brown spots. Pick, take a dot of brown, pick a spot, and 
do the same thing you did for the green. Just like that. So now I actually had to make more banana yellow. So now you can take banana yellow and you can add extra detail by just going in random spots with the yellow. Just like that. Now our banana is done. Time to move to the ice cream. Now you can choose it. Any flavors you want. But I'm doing strawberry, vanilla, and mango ice cream. I was thinking to do chocolate, but the shades of brown, I, I wasn't really sure how to get it correctly. So I was going to do strawberry using shades of pink, um, mango using shades of mango color and orange, and then vanilla using shades of peach. So now I can use poster paints, but I also have acrylic paints. Let me show you. This is such a good mango color. Okay, one second. And then... This is cream, if you can't see. I mix a little bit of mango and white. That gives peach. So if you want, you can use acrylic paint. I may use just a little, little bit. So we could still count this as mixed media. Oh, put this back. Sorry, why did I even have it? So this is gonna be our strawberry. This is gonna be a mango. This is gonna be our vanilla. Let's start with the mango. Take a color of your choice. Take any mango color of your choice. You don't need to do mango. You can do chocolate instead or you can do strawberry. It doesn't really matter. And then you can take orange. See, we're using shades of orange, sort of. And then you can take cream. Or I have pale orange here. So take mango. You don't need to clean your brush. And mango is going to be our main color and cream is going to be our accent color. Accent color is a color you can add to a painting that doesn't really belong there, but it still adds something. So taking the darkest color I drew a line with the paint and we're going to color it like this. This is called our shadow, which I think many of you will already know. You can do another layer if you want. Oh, taking pale orange, I'm taking it straight from the bottle. Blend it in with the mango orange. This is not like pale orange, it's uh, I don't know, I guess I could say apricot, I'm not sure at all. Okay, I blended it, and I don't think you can see, but if you come closer and zoom in, you may see. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to take orange my whole station is a mess and I'm gonna put it on the very edge now it doesn't need blending because it already looks blended that's the darkest color now mango is gonna be our main color so I'm taking it I did not mix anything, I accidentally put it there. Well, I didn't accidentally, but I just put it there. Now I'm taking it from the bottle, and I'm just gonna color this whole thing back. Good. 
They're the same color in the bottle and in the palette. Take some water and I just brighten it. I actually like this. Now take the pale orange, go somewhere and just make a big scribble. It doesn't matter. You can do the same thing with just regular orange. See? I took it. Now, clean your brush, take water, and just go over this whole section. Now, this way it looks not just one color, but many colors. Let me bring this up close to you. Got it. So now we are done with the mango. Next, we're gonna do strawberry now. Strawberry, wait, no, I'm gonna just make the peach for a second because I'm gonna put the mango back anyway. So for strawberry, I'm gonna do it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera do the vanilla, show you guys once again. That way, it's not me wasting time and you already know how to do it yourself. Right? So what I'm doing is I'm mixing mango and cream to make a sort of apricot color. So now we're gonna mix in strawberry. Now strawberry, as as you know, some of you may know, pink, when you get to like, um, most art sets, uh, like not kid art sets, but regular art sets, um, most artists, they don't use pink in their paintings because it's not, so important color, I guess you can say. The main colors are red, orange, and yellow. Pink is not a main color, so that's why they don't use it. But for this, we are not professional watches. Right? Well, some of you who may be watching, okay, you can be. If you are good. Now, most artists mix colors, and as you can see, in these, you can find these on Amazon. I don't see any pink in this. This is red. Sorry, this is red. Where is it? You see, this is red. Yellow, green, dark blue, black, white, violet, orange, light blue. Brown, silver, golden. There's no pink at all. But with this set, it's really good because it, you can make pink easily. And I think that's for any set. As the red is almost like a pink, but I'm not going to do it that way. Take some red. Take some white. That is how you make pink. Mix them together. Take some more, some more, some more. With that pink, it is pink. But I want it just a little more lighter. So take some more. And maybe one more. Maybe one more, sorry. And a big one, okay. Yeah. Now that is fine. 
take some of the same pink, put it in another one, take more white, mix it. If you already have pink, okay, you don't need to mix this. But if you have acrylic pink, okay, you can use that too. Nothing's wrong with using that. Okay, so now I have light pink and dark pink, and I have red. That is what I'm gonna use for the strawberry one. Oops, okay, put that away. Okay. So starting with the dark pink, look at what we're going to do, guys. Take the dark pink, make the line, color that place. Okay, take some red, now do the outline. As you can see, it already looks blended, but we don't need to blend it. It's optional. You can blend it if you want to. Take some light pink. Now, this is our main color, the light pink. Blend it in with the dark pink. Color. Color it properly. Now, I'm not professional. I'm also learning too. I'm gonna take some more dark pink and I'm just gonna add some here. I'm gonna take some more red and I'm just gonna add some here. my paintbrush because it has red on it. If you don't want red mixing in with the light pink, blend the dark and light pink together. Now, take the dark pink, make a scribble. You can add some red to it if you want to. More dark pink. I'm adding red to it because it's not dark enough. Take some red, make a scribble somewhere. Now just bit the brush. Move your hand where you want it to go. Take some more light pink if you want. Put it anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Now the light pink one is done. Now I'm going to do the vanilla one and I will see you when it's done. Okay, as you can all see, the painting is done. This is how it looks like. I hope yours turned out good as well. If you did different flavors, that's okay. Uh, I know most of you probably do chocolate. Um, because it's a really popular flavor. I just did these three flavors. I would prefer mango or strawberry, but they're just colorful. So I did it that way. You can do what you like. You can do, it depends what you kind of choose. Um, if you want, you can go to the discussion board. The discussion board is not below. It's not in the comments. You literally have to go to the channel you know where it says videos about discussion. Go to discussion, chat which flavors you did there. And also, when you do, say banana ice cream video. That knows what, I, that makes me know what you're talking about. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for medium beginner. Don't forget to like and subscribe.